Yes, people, welcome back. Welcome back to Albert J T V. Welcome again, guys. Um, yeah, let me just get straight into it, man. Quick video. Um, as most of you would have seen, if you haven't, then you must have had a deep, you must have been in a deep, deep sleep. But um, various news outlets, media reports are saying that Arsenal are trying to find a way or a solution of cutting ties with Mesut Ozil and paying him off his wages for him to leave Arsenal Football Club. Um, <laughs> something needs to happen. That's the first thing, because this is a saga that's been going on way too long. It's a soap opera that seems to have no ending. Um, before I go into the sort of the details of the stories that have been breaking about Mesut Ozil being paid off possibly by Arsenal, um, we go to Project Restart. Uh, Mesut Ozil has not featured whatsoever, no minutes, nothing. Um, it's not even around for the FA Cup final. Um, the official club statement was that it is back soreness and Mesut Ozil gets time to go off to Turkey. Um, I think the only contribution Mesut Ozil has done since Project Restart is to wish us a congratulations for winning the FA Cup. Other than that, um, wow, it's just been... It's something we don't need. Um, you know, he was given a contract that he was obviously happy happy to sign. Arsenal committed financial suicide. Um, and what we've seen from Mesut Ozil is nothing short of... How can I call it? What can I, what can I say? For a player of his ability, um, for me, has not shown nowhere near enough in the last two and a bit years, maybe even longer, Arsenal, or maybe Arsenal fans will argue. But yeah, I think the problem with this whole story that's broken about paying off Mesut Ozil is that, I've done a few notes, so if I look away, um, apologies guys, but they're saying that they're going to try and pay him off in a lump sum, um, just less than these £18 million a year. Um, or the alternative, or the alternative is, sorry, that we subsidise part of his wages if he wants to play football. But this is the issue. The thing is, it's obvious to me, guys, drop in the comments down below and let me know what you think. Mesut Ozil's desire to play football has gone, dissipated. It is it's dead in the water and has been for a long time. You would think for a player of Mesut Ozil's age, particularly in the last two to three years, that you'd want to play as much football as possible as you're getting on in your later years. But, you know... Just to cut a long story short and just going a little bit off on a tangent, but I've got a lot of football mates who support other clubs, um, United, Tottenham, um, sometimes even clubs in the championship. And they say to me, and it'd be interesting to know what you guys think, drop in the comments again. They said they've never known a football player at a club where most of the supporters will make any excuse for him whatsoever. The managers, the system, the tactics... The strikers, the defenders, the midfield players. It, it's like, it can go on and on. It's like Ariston, if you remember, if you know what I'm talking about when I say that. If you know, you know. Um, and it just, whatever way this happens, just make it happen and just cut ties with this guy. It's done. It's been done for years. It's, it's dead in the water. But I think, I'm not no lawyer or, or legal expert, but... I'm sure Arsenal would have looked into this with, with any due diligence, but I'm sure there's some sort of legal te te technicality where you can't just... It's easy to say, just pay him off when he goes. It, it, it's, I don't think it's that simple. So before I, you know, start thinking, you know, Mesut Ozil's finally gone, let's just see over the next coming days and weeks where this actually goes. But yeah, big breaking news, man. Um, Arsenal need to make it, Get get this uh, get this done, man. Mikel Arteta has obviously got to a point since he's been in December, since he's been in charge since December that Mesut Ozil was not part of his plans. Um, have we missed Mesut Ozil? If we're being brutally honest, from a creativity point of view, then possibly you could even argue. But for the team dynamic, no, we haven't missed him. Um, we've gone on to win a 14th FA Cup without him. Yes, our league position's been terrible, but what can you do? Um, it is what it is. But yeah, guys, drop in the comments down below what you think. Do you think, do you see any legs in this story? Do you think he will, you know, take less than what he's owed in terms of, you know, less than the 18 million? Um, Arsenal will have to subsidise, but 
to me, but for me personally speaking, Mesut Ozil's desire to play football first and foremost has gone. And I'm not. I'm sorry, but I don't want a player at the football club who has got no desire, potentially, if we go by rumours, to play. He needs to be. He needs to go. Um, so, guys, yeah, click like. Share, subscribe, hit that notification button, smash the like button, drop your comments down below. This is me, Albert JTV, over and out. Hashtag Mesut Ozil. Mm -hmm.